In this video, we'll talk about the brain of an insomniac. When it comes to the function of the mind, it's an interesting scientific standpoint that scientists continue to do research in. They continue to look towards the functions of all the brain waves and how all the thoughts interact during the day and night. During every hour of the day, the mind is able to adapt itself to any situation. Whether the mind is trying to get food, get a drink, get out of the car, walking through a door, or just get some rest, the mind constantly will try to find new ways to survive and flourish. It will continue through the cycle of getting enough resources during the day and then have enough energy to heal and rest during the night. Normally, people will have a normal level of brain waves where the mind will stop thinking as quickly and will prepare for the night by shutting down parts of the mind's thought process. The farther into the night time goes, the more the mind is slowing down and becoming capable of getting another night of full rest. This is the reason why a person will find it harder to get through their job or any kind of work later on in the night. Studies show that the process of the mind will naturally change throughout the day and sometimes it will cause a major form of anxiety inside the mind. This is where the mind will become stressed enough to the point where the brain waves will not slow down and therefore the mind will not be able to completely relax later on in the night. Instead, it will go through a period where the brain waves will move faster to cause more thoughts and more energy needed to be consumed. The same amount of resources that are collected during the day will need to be taken in at night. The body will then run through twice the amount of energy and resources and cause the person to have a lack of energy within their own life. As for the mind and how the brain waves respond to the phases of insomnia, there have been three different studies done to see how the mind will react during the night. Scientists have known that the learning and memory functions of the brain have a majority of control with causing a person to go to sleep. The more a person learns during the day, the more energy they are utilizing that day and the more energy they are gaining overall. The more a person forms memories inside of their own life, the more the mind will have dreams during the night. The ability to have a larger variety of dreams during the night allows for the mind to calm down and use the images to enforce more of a positive image inside of the person. The mind wants the body to be calm during the night, and the best way to do that is by looking through the happy memories that the person has gone through. Whenever you see a loved one inside of your dream, you smile, you are happier, and your body relaxes more. For a person with insomnia, the mind during the night runs faster and has more trouble getting to the same kind of calm and relaxing state the mind will be just as active during the day as it is at night. In one of the studies about brainwaves during insomnia, scientists were able to see that the neurons inside of the mind are more active at night inside of the mind of a person who has chronic insomnia. The neurons travel around the mind faster and cause more thoughts to pass through the mind at night. Therefore, the person goes through a period where they are in a constant state of information processing that does not stop at any point during the whole day. This causes the insomnia, since the person will not be able to have enough sleep or rest to remain stable. Inside of the study, the researchers were telling others that insomnia should not be seen directly as a nighttime disorder. Instead, it's more of a 24-hour brain condition that causes the mind to stay on. This small amount of time where the mind does not have enough rest during one night interferes with the memory inside of the brain. It does not affect the memory of the person in the long run. Instead, it makes the next day after one night of no sleep much harder. The person will have a harder time concentrating, remembering small facts, and remembering information that is told directly to them the same day. To test out this theory, they compared the test scores of students that had a full night of sleep versus students that did not have any sleep the night before. The students who had more sleep were able to focus on more parts of the question at once, and they were able to remember more of their choices on the test a few hours after it was over. The idea of this experiment was to measure out the amount of the mind that requires rest in order to remain focused throughout the day. When a person has insomnia, they are not able to go through and have the same level of concentration. 
Some people believe that since their mind will be functioning just as quickly at night when they have insomnia, they believe they can have more focus the next day. The experiment done during this research disproves this thought. Just because the mind is as active at night as it is during the day when it has insomnia does not mean that that is a good idea to rely upon. Not only does it build up the lack of concentration in the mind, but it will also build up the amount of plasticity inside of the brain. The research on what the plasticity is and how it contributes to the state of insomnia is still unknown. They do know that the plasticity of the mind does build up throughout a person's life, and it does contribute to other forms of disease later on in a person's life. The more plasticity that exists inside of the mind, the less chance a person has to remember memories overall. Not only in a short-term basis, but in a long-term basis as well. It's harder for the mind to hold on to all the levels of concentration and memory when a person has reached an elderly age. A mind during that age will naturally slow down, and it will slow down at a faster rate if there's more plasticity inside of the brain. The second area of research in insomnia surrounded the idea of a person constantly having stress or constantly worrying. They were investigating how, if a person has a stressful life and then gets insomnia, how the mind will respond at night. The first fact that they were able to see immediately was that the cognitive function of the mind does not change whether a person is suffering from insomnia or if they are sleeping all right. However, they were able to support the idea that the mind with insomnia does not have the same amount of functions throughout the day. The main parts of their research were able to show that the mind wanders throughout the night. People who have insomnia will be thinking at night, but that does not mean that they will be thinking about a specific subject. The mind not only has trouble concentrating the next day, but the mind will have trouble concentrating on the different areas of work happening during the nights where the person does not have enough sleep. Not only that, but the mind will continue to use energy during the day that it should be resting. Not having the energy to function during the day makes it harder for them to perform at a higher level. The next part of the same research compared the memory function to the tasks of efficiency that the person will naturally go through in any part of the day. When a person goes through the troubling states of insomnia, they will not be able to remember a larger portion of memories during the day. Since the memories could not be immediately remembered, the tasks during their lives were harder. The minds would wander around whenever they had to do simple tasks of the day. The mind's brain waves will be slower and will cause the person to move at a slower pace and quickly forget the information in front of them. The brain will attempt to be active, but there will not be enough resources for the brain to go through. Therefore, the mind will exhaust itself every day during the stages of insomnia. The third and last scientific study that occurred to study insomnia was the idea of gray matter inside the brain. The main thing to know is that gray matter exists in the frontal lobe and controls the processes of memory and executive function. When a person does not have enough sleep at night, they will have a large decrease in the amount of gray matter. Whether the person is suffering from insomnia or if they are having trouble sleeping overall, they will start to slowly develop symptoms of depression or trauma. The person with insomnia will not only have to deal with the exhaustion of not having enough energy, but they will go through the harsh areas of stress in the mind. The best way to resolve this issue is to consult a doctor and see what kind of medicine would be best for your own personal case. Overall, the mind has to gain enough sleep and rest to have a proper amount of concentration. Going through insomnia will simply elongate the amount of time that the body does not get rest. It will cause the brain waves to keep moving faster throughout the brain, and it will cause the mind to slowly lose the purpose of memory. The important thing to remember is to get enough nutrition and to get enough sleep every night. No matter how difficult it is to find a balance, it is important to have a high level of concentration every day to have the most amount of memory function. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.